right, we actually have someone who wants to generate their business builder, their business credit profile. He said, hey, I already got my vendors lined up. They're all reporting to the business credit bureaus, the Dun & Bradstreet. They're already reporting to business experience. They're already reporting to small business Equifax. All right, I just want to make sure, CJ, that I am doing this in the correct order. All right, so that I can get the highest limits possible on my lines of credit, on my business loans, my business financing. I want them not to check my personal credit, all right, but to rely on my DUNS number, to rely on my EIN in order, right, in order for me to get the highest financing possible. Can you help me with that? Well, yes, I can. All right, a lot of times we as business owners and investors, we make things more challenging, right? More complex than they need to be, okay? Allow me to kind of get the weeds out of the way, right? And simplify this process altogether. Are you ready? All right, let's do it. Number one, we want to make sure, right? Now, I know you said, and this is definitely for one of my viewers, I made this video for you, all right? Absolutely. And that's what I'll do to each and every one of you that have questions, we'll answer it. Huh? And I invite you to comment. I invite you to feedback. I invite you to challenge me. Huh? Put it up on some links, right? So that people can learn, right? Now, you, you most likely won't uh, prove me wrong at all, right? Because we really know what we're doing. We're part of a huge investment team here, and uh, it's nationally known. So, uh, but however, your comments are welcome, all right? Listen, I'm saying that with all humility, you know? Your comments are welcome. The feedback is welcome. Let's show this fella, this business owner, how to build business credit the correct way. Now, I believe you, Z. I believe you've been through all of it, and you just want to make sure. So watch this. The first thing you're going to do is make sure that all of your vendors report to each of the credit bureaus. Okay, You don't want to do business with a vendor who's not reporting to the business credit bureaus. Why would you do that? <laughs> you're defeating the purpose. All right. Now, the vendors, it's got to be five vendors right? that you're going to be doing business with, at least five. And they got to report to either Dun & Bradstreet, Business Experian, or Small Business Equifax. I tell you right now, okay, business credit is very biased to Dun & Bradstreet and Business Experian. So you might want to call those vendors and ask them, hey, who do you guys report to? Okay. And you got to deal with five vendors. Got to. You got to. You can't use the same one over and over. There must be a trail. There must be those payment experiences. And that's our next one. Okay. We're going to be making sure that we have the right amount of payment experiences. Now, how many payment experiences do you need dealing with these vendors? Five. You need five payment experiences. Now, what is a payment experience? Well, the payment experience is the same as a trade line. Okay, CJ, what's a trade line? <laughs> so look, this is what a trade line, this is what a payment experience is, okay? You call up the payment, you pay it off, then what that vendor does is it reports to either Dun & Bradstreet or one of the business credit bureaus, okay, that they need to report to. And then, once they report, hey, this guy, this girl made her payment early. We need you to make that payment early because we want you to have a 100, not a 0, right? Not a 70, not an 80. We need you to make the payment early on each payment, okay? So anyway, payment experiences. We'll get to the payment early and how important that is later. But payment experience. You call up the payment, all right, and then they call up to the one of the business credit bureaus, or maybe both of them, and they say, hey, 
They made their payment early. All right. So now that is called a payment experience. Now, you'll find that sometimes these vendors, they report to more than one credit bureau. Yeah. So when they do that, when they report to Dun & Bradstreet and Experian, guess how many payment experiences that is? Two. It's two payment experiences. Sorry for those folks in Britain. All right. Listen. It's two payment experiences. All right? And so you need how many? Five in order to get to the next level. All right? Now, the next level, can I just say something about paying early, though? Right? This is our, our last point under the vendors. Paying early. You know there's a huge difference between business credit and personal credit. Right? And that difference is all you got to be concerned about on the business credit side is what? You don't have to be concerned about your credit utilization. You don't have to be concerned about the mix of accounts. You don't have to be concerned about all of these elements like you do on the consumer side, like you do on the personal credit side. All you have to do is make your minimum payment each, every month. Each and every month, you got to make that minimum monthly payment. And you will make it when? Early. Because to be early is to be on time. And to be on time is to be super late. And to be super late, bad for business. All right? I think I beat that dead horse enough. Um, now, now that you have the five payment experiences, okay? Dun & Bradstreet, right? Business experience, small business Equifax. You've got five, all right? Now you'll go to store credit. Well, how many of those uh, store credits do you need? Well, I tell you what. Since you're watching this, and I want to lead you in the correct way, uh, the path that so many people have taken to get $50,000 and more, in business lines of credit, I want to show you that you, my suggestion is five. Hey, it's better to go over than to go under, right? Five of these store credit cards, because remember it's business credit, right? And remember, you're gonna get 10 to 100 times more than you ever could on the personal credit side, and why is that? Well, because on the personal credit side, you can go to a store and you'll buy one computer, maybe two computers, right, for someone else that lives in your household. But when you're running a business, they know that you're going to probably buy 10, 20, maybe even 100, 1,000 computers. And so those limits have to be higher to accommodate the business owner, all right? And so it's very exciting. Business credit is. But store credit, store credit. Five stores, five store credits, and who must they report to? Pop quiz. Who must they all report to? Yeah, Dun & Bradstreet, Business Experian, and Small Business Equifax. All right, they gotta report to either one of those. Absolutely, five. Payment experiences. How many payment experiences do you need with store credit? If you can't see that number right there, it's 14. 14 payment experiences. You say, CJ, what in the world? Well, you already got five right here. Right? And I'm going to say more than. How about that? More than 14 payment experiences. They want to see a trail, folks. That's what these lenders are looking for. They want to see a trail of, wow, is this person going to pay me each month? Is this person who has borrowed all of these amounts of money, are they going to pay me each month? And they are looking for a track record. These payment experiences can also be called your track record, all right? 
And of course, we already beat that dead horse, pay early. Now, there's really no sense, right, in showing you this, this right here, this high limit cash credit cards. Because you've already proven yourself on this side. You see how easy that is? See how simple that is? It's not easy. <laughs> it is simple. Okay? So once you've hit this, you've actually hit the Mecca, the Nirvana of business credit. Because when you hit this, the high limit cash credit cards, the sky's the limit. When they start sending you your first $10,000, your first $20,000, your first $50,000, you'll understand that, wait a minute, why in the world was I worried about my personal credit score? <laughs> why in the world? They would have never given me this on the personal credit side. And then what can you do with these high limit cash credit cards? What can you do then? Can you not help your personal credit side taking a business loan from your business to help your personal but that's another video for another day. Folks, what you'll want to focus on, right, is this right here, what I just shared with you. Make sure you're calling the vendors up. Make sure you're calling those store credit cards up. Macy's, JCPenney, who do you report to is your question, right? Who do you report to? If they say things like, we report to Mecca Lecca High, listen, that's not a business credit bureau, folks. Mecca Lecca High is not a business credit bureau. So you want to make sure that you're only doing business with those that report to those business credit bureaus. And look, I'm not going to sit here and say that all of this is easy. It's simple, not easy. All right. Is there a lot more that goes into this? Not a whole lot, you know. I mean, especially for a man Z, my goodness, he's, he's already got it all set up. The business is set up correctly. Uh, the IRS forms have been filled out with the correct uh, physical address. It's not a P.O. box. right? It's not UPS. It's not your home address. right? It's a physical address, a real business address. And you don't have a Google number. right? You've got a business number. right? And my recommendations are Ring Central. Uh, Freedom Voice that got business numbers, right? That are in the National Directory 411. Okay? Absolutely. Listen, I can't wait for you to come in to say, CJ, man, I can't believe this. I got $50,000 in business science of credit and it's only been my second month. My goodness. You have been doing it correctly. You know what I mean? Let me share your story with others, all right? Listen, if you have any questions, any more questions, any comments, let me know, okay? This was for you. This is what I want you to focus on, Z, all right? I want you to focus on this right here. Focus on this, okay? This is what you focus on. I know you got a lot, a lot on your plate. You really do. I, I know it, I know it. You know, you shared that with me, and I haven't forgot. I'm going to answer your Velocity Banking question right after this video. However, okay, that's going to be on another video. Look, this is what you focus on, man. Vendors. Store credit. Vendors. That's what you focus on. Because the rest will take care of itself. Now, I don't know if you need any fleet cards, okay? But if it's the fleet cards that you need, guess what? It'll be the same thing. The same thing. Make sure it's five. Okay? That report to the business credit bureaus. Your payment experiences. Okay? After that, because you'll already have the more than 14 payment experiences right down here. Okay? Make sure you're constantly getting that gas, getting that maintenance, maintenance on those fleet cards. And make sure you're paying when? Not on time. Early. All right? Folks. <laughs> got a little fired up because this was personal, all right? We want you to get the business credit that you deserve, all right? God bless, and you all have a great night.